Welcome back, traders and investors, to Benzinga's pre-market prep, brought to you by MarketFi. I'm your co-host, Joel L. Conan, along with Brianna Valeski, and we have Michael Rich on the line. He's founder of Mojo Day Trading. Michael, how you doing this morning? Good morning. Thank you for having me on the show. Thanks for joining us. Could you give us, give us a little bit of uh, your background in trading? Absolutely. You need that. A little bit of a background. Started Mojo Day Trading about three years ago. I have a background in day trading and working for the man in different businesses over the last 20 years. And introduced to social media, I started to get a big following putting out some stock picks. So I launched the day trading room and developed the website Mojo Day Trading on behalf of the followers that I had that pushed me towards that and the growth of Mojo. My picks have been pretty accurate. You know, there's a lot of day trading rooms and gurus out there, and what separates me from the rest is, one, I treat this as a business because I make my living, and a lot of people in my room, over 150 traders every morning, come to the Mojo day trading room and make their living there as well. I don't overtrade. I look for three or four sharp shooters to make my money on. I shut the business down, and I move on with my other stuff for the rest of the day. And I traded a couple pre-market this morning already, and things are moving, looking good. And, and, and that's pretty much what I'm doing on the day trading side. All right. Well, we'll go into those in a second. Could you, uh, could you please tell me what Mojo Trading is and uh, what people will get if they come to your site? Absolutely. Mojo Day Trading is an online portal for education and day trading and swing trading. The first service I had, which I launched, was the Day Trading Room. It's an online chat room with over 150 traders in the room that come there every morning. It opens at 9 a.m., and pretty much by 10, 30, 11 o'clock, we're 18 out of the 20 days of the month that we trade, we're done for the day trading. We treat it as a business. We move on. Like I said, we do the rest of our things that we do. Swing trading. I have a newsletter that I send out every Sunday night with three to five swing picks. I'm a disciple of William O'Neill and the Ken Slim system. And based upon 20 years of my own proprietary knowledge base upon that system, I've developed on the small cap side between stocks around Anywhere this week, I actually did an 11 cent stock, which was Joey's, Joe's Jeans. And the stock was up yesterday. I sold 14, sold 17, sold 19, sold 23. It went to 29. It was up 143%. So I like those kind of movers on quality companies that show consistent earnings quarter after quarter. And I've got a system that I use, and I send out a newsletter for that service every Sunday night. It's been working pretty well, and what separates me is my accuracy in the swing picks in the newsletter. And on my website, I have information about the swing trade newsletter and the results of the newsletter. Also, video updates on when I do video updates for the newsletter. Okay, Where so that, so let's just go mm -hmm. into your style a little bit. I mean, if you're doing pre-market trading and swing trading, I'd have to assume that it's based on technical analysis. So could you give us a little bit of your, you know, what you look for in technical analysis, and do you have a go-to setup? Absolutely. That's a great question. A lot of traders and out there, they don't trade the first 15 minutes of the market. They wait for things to settle and what to do. What I do is it's the biggest wave of the market. So I look to trade that wave. I look at no chart. I trade old school right off the level two. I open the hood. I see who's on the bid, who's what the size is, who's on the ask, what the size is. And off those signals that are given in the level two, I start to scale in. I never buy once. I average around eight tickets per trade. I buy 1,000 shares, 100, 200, 300, 400. So I'll spend a little money buying the stock to get a really good average. And then on the way out, I'll sell it twice. So I'll generate seven or eight tickets, but my odds on winning on that trade are very high probability. And what I've done is I have only look for certain trade plays. My main move and what I teach in a class called Mojo University, which is an online class of teaching people how to day trade, 
the outcome goal in order to, to make a million dollars in the stock market, I look to do 100 trades a month of this stock, of this trade called the Heinz trade. If I do 100 a month and I do 12 months a year, I'll do 1,000 of those trades. If I want to make $1,000 per trade, that's my million-dollar formula. So what I do is I pick a stock like P PTNR, 299 by 3. I pick another stock like LL, 3099 by 31. I already traded it this morning when it made its spike. My time stamp was within the same 30 seconds of the stock. as actually right before it moves through the even number, I call it the Heinz trade play. I did it at 8, the exact time was 841 35. I bought a thousand at 3088. Mm -hmm. I sold 841 39 within the same four tenths of a second at 3105. So I made $250 on the trade very quickly. And I call it the Heinz because at 3088, it didn't really move. At 3090, mm -hmm. the anticipation was killing me. Once it hit through 31, it blasted to 3179. So fast, the ketchup fell out of the bottle, just like the Heinz does. Huh. And your, co your coincidence about talking about Heinz was like kismet. It was like fate that it was bringing me on the show. Mm. UCO, oil right now, 694. I would buy a sequence, 695, 97, 99. At $7, it's going to fly through, mm. and I'll sell it at 705. What are you? What are you what? looking for? I mean, you know, you're kind of old school. I mean, you know, Dennis and I were day traders, and you know, when they traded in eighths and in sixteenths, and you could read the size, and uh, you look at the level two. And I mean, you just we trade in New York I stocks. Told you. I'm looking to make a thousand dollars on every stock that moves from two ninety eight, well, or twenty ninety eight through twenty one ten, through. Through Facebook at eighty five ninety five, I'll sell it at eighty six twenty five. Twitter fifty one ninety five, I'll sell it at fifty two thirty five. So Nugget that... at eleven ninety, I'll sell it at twelve ten. It doesn't make a difference. I'll make a thousand dollars every single time. Every single time. UCO just is going through seven dollars right now. When we started, it was six ninety four. So I would have bought a thousand at ninety four, two thousand at ninety six. Four thousand at ninety nine, and right now at seven oh one, I'd be selling it at seven oh two for a thousand dollars. So you like to you like to trade around those whole numbers, huh? That's called the Heinz trade play. Okay, and anticipate it's it's an amazing move. That's all I do. Okay, do you do that during the regular session too, or do you just favor it in pre market trading? I I don't trade a lot pre market because I have a room of one hundred and fifty traders, so. When I make a move, big volume goes in. I usually wait for the room to open the trade for the room at 9.30 plus. My own trading, I could do some trading myself if I like pre-market as an individual. And that's what I teach in Mojo University are these moves and skills to treat it like a business and trade these kind of moves when they present themselves to you. Great, a great trading strategy there, Mike. Uh, thanks so much for sharing that with us. Speaking of Heinz, we, of course, we've had some big news coming out this morning, a merger between Kraft Foods and Heinz. Uh, have you been playing Kraft at all recently, or is that on your radar? Actually, it hasn't been because one of the – all I do is the NASDAQ and the four-letter symbols mostly and some ETFs. Oh, I just got a still UCO right here at 703. Just got still. Hold on a second. 704 is filling right now on the ass. I'm trading while I'm talking to you as well. So, and that's UCO oil. It's the ETF, the Ultra Bloomberg oil at 705 now. And JNUG's also going through 23, which is, uh, I trade JNUG, which is like uh, gold, going from 29.99 through 23.05. So all these stocks going through the even numbers, there's so many of them. All I have to do is hit four of them. That's $4,000. By 11 o'clock, I'm done for the day. You times that by 20 days, you're making 50 to 80,000 a month as a trader. And I have traders. I did an interview on Blog Talk Radio with a trader that I had brought on. It introduced that he had made a million dollars in six months in the Mojo Day Trading Room with this system and exactly how I scale in and look for these predominant trade plays. 
So you said you only trade stocks on the NASDAQ? Yeah, I trade the, the most liquid green stocks there is. So you see like NASDAQ, KRST, VBLT, and KFX, the top three or four or five, with the biggest volume, that's where my eyes are at. What, so what are you looking I at at KSX? In, in KFX? I would be looking at, it's going to go through $11 at 1096. It's like a magnet. There's nothing that could really stop it going through $11. So I would buy an entry right here at 1092.93. I would buy double it at 96. I would triple it at 99, and I would sell it at 1101. You know what size is going to be on the ask at $11 if it gets there? The biggest ask you've ever seen, it'll scare the pants off everybody. It'll go through that ask like a hot knife. Well, the, the, the merger's at 11, so I don't know if there's a whole lot of premium in it going over 11 bucks, but give it a shot. Uh, let's go to a couple. No, other... just the ask. I'm talking about the size of the ask on these kind of stocks, like an Apple at $111. The ask would have so the size there would scare the pants off anybody if they would never buy it, but it would go through that size. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, take a exam another stock here. GoPro. This one's moving. What are you gonna get this thing going? It's not near a hole number. Great example. Great okay. example. Grow GoPro. I was watching it go by the high low list. It's forty two twenty by thirty. I would do a mini pack at a Heinz. What I call the mini Heinz move. That's forty three fifty. So I buy a sequence forty three thirty, forty three thirty five, forty three forty. At 46, 47, and 48, I would double the position. I'd sell it at 52 to 55. And, uh, and how, do, how, do you, um, how do you manage the risk on the downside here? I'm buying at 30. I'm only buying at 35, so there is no risk. I'm ahead of it. I buy at 40. My average is 33, 34. I buy at 46. My average is 39. I'm always ahead of the stock. Okay, yeah, uh, Dennis and I talk about the uh, tractor beam theory, and that's when, uh, you know, the big orders, you know, they attract the buyers or sellers that are trying to trade out of it. So very similar strategy you're putting to work in the in the pre-market. Uh, how about a setup in LinkedIn? You got a setup in LNKD for us? I do. Let me just say GoPro on the downside. Let me say I bought it at 30, and it didn't go higher. I didn't, wasn't able to buy it at 35 and 40. It went lower. I wouldn't take the loss. I, I would wait for it to fall, like, to 10. Then I would buy again and try to sell it at, like, 15 to 20. I wouldn't make money on the trade. I wouldn't even look to make money, but I would look to maybe cover my commission break even versus the other one where I bought once and then I bought again and again higher. Those are the ones that are really more aggressive where I'm pushing more chips in because I'm looking at a pocket aces pre-hand versus – an ace two. I'm playing the hand more aggressively depending upon where the price is and how the movement goes because no trader knows which way the stock's going to go when they buy their first punch at it. You know what I mean? Okay. How about uh, Apple? Uh, any setup, potential setups in Apple today? Sure. And GoPro's moving right now through that mini Heinz at the 3740. So I would buy at 40. I'd buy again at 45 just for the traders that are listening right now. AAPL? Is 122.66. This is a this is an amazing setup to 127. I buy 126.70, 75, 80, 85.90. I double it at 96, and I sell it at 127.20. Okay. So uh, to, how about shorting? Do you if short? It doesn't get there. It doesn't work. Does this work on the downside? Do you short things? No, I only do the sh and I wouldn't do Apple. It has to be up a dollar. Apple's even now, so it can go down is 50 cents quicker than it can go up 50 cents. I'd only do that Apple trade if it was up 50 cents and it was heading towards 127. Okay, and so what do you do on down days in the market? Down days I do the best because it's easier. There's more volatility in movement of the herd going to one particularly strong stock on the down days. On the green days, there's less movement. It's tougher, I have found, in the day trading room to make money on the, on the up days. Okay. So, wow. So you're still trying to buy on down days in the market because uh, you see. So, you know, I mean, does it? have you ever I, tried to reverse Heinz theory? To tell you the truth, 
to tell you the truth, I don't even look at the market. I don't look at the chart. I look at the one stock I'm trading. I trade one at a time. I trade that stock. I make the trade play on it. I move on. I do three of them. I'm done for the day. I could sit here and do this all day long, but the odds are that I have found if you overtrade, it racks up fees. And once you hit your goal, I have found if you keep on trading, 80% of the time you'll give it all back and you'll even lose. So if you treat it as a business and not as a trader, you can make this a successful career and knock 100, 200, 500, 1,000, 2,000 out of the market every morning in the first hour. And that's what, that is really what I teach. Anything else after that? Is not is is in the is in the loser category. Okay, all right. We've uh, been on the line with Michael Rich. He's a founder of Mojo Day Trading. He has a very definite style in the markets. Michael, we appreciate you coming on. Great information. We hope awesome. to have you on again. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Michael. Peace.